We'll guide you through how to make a Minecraft server in 1.21.8. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Having a Minecraft server is really convenient as then other people can go and join it and you can play together. So what we need to do is go and open up a web browser like so. We need to go and get the Minecraft server download. So what you want to do is go and type in Minecraft server download like so. And you want to come to the site, Minecraft Java Edition server. This is the official Minecraft site and we can see the download here. Click on it and it's going to go and download. Now, what we also need to do is come back and we need to go and search for Java and you want to come to java.com. Make sure you go and click download Java for desktops, then download this here. Next, you want to press back and we need to go and get the developer downloads. So press that there. Scroll down, we can select JDK 21, then select Windows and we can find the installer. Click here to download it. Before we start the install process, it's important to note that with this server, we're hosting on our computer and using our network. This isn't ideal because it means our computer and server will need to be running for it to be online and for other people to connect. And other people will also be connected to our network as well, which isn't always ideal for security reasons. So great alternative is today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. A big thanks to them. What you can do is go and get them to host it for you. We'll put a link down below in the pinned comment in the description. And right now you can go and get yourself a discount as well. Scroll down, you can check out some of their great features like 24 seven servers and support. So it's always going to be online and your computer does not need to be on. There's also 24 seven live chat helping you out. They've got so many other great benefits you can check out like instant setup as well. So you're interested, check them out, but let's go and start the install. But let's start the install. So open up the file explorer, come to the left and press downloads. What we need to do is go and find Java and double click on it, go through and install it. After you've got that, you need to install JDK. So double click on it and install it. Now you've installed it, come on some blank space on your desktop, right click, hover over new and press folder. And we can go and name this 1.21.8 server. Then what you want to do is go and drag server.jar in there from your downloads. Open up this folder, right click on server.jar, hover over open with and press choose another app and select Java and press always. If it doesn't run, try double clicking it again like so. And then hopefully these files and folders should start being generated. If nothing happens or something else happens, you may need to do something called a jar fix, which relinks jar and Java files. Now you need to open up eula.txt. What you need to do is go and copy and paste this link into a web browser. You can go and see the agreement. If you agree to it, which I already do, I've read it. You can change Eula to true from false. Press file and press save. You can close it and then run server.jar again. The Minecraft server application is going to open up and you can see the air spawn area is being prepared. This is the world essentially. Now what we can do is just temporarily close this. If you want to go and change your server settings, come to server.properties, right click on it, hover over open with and select notepad and you can go through here and change what you want. For example, spawn monsters, you can set the false if you didn't want them on. After you make any change, make sure you press file and press save, and then you can relaunch server.jar. So you've now made the server. We can come back to Minecraft and press multiplayer, press add server, and in server address, you can go and type in localhost and press done. You can then select it and press join server. You can use localhost because it's hosted on your computer. So here we are. We can go and see we've gone and joined it. Now you may be wondering, how can other people go and join? Well, for them, you'll need to go and either do port forwarding, which you can do in your router, or there's another application we made a video on before. But that is why I really do like using Apex Hosting, as they'll go and do it for you. 